Obviously, the road didn't go well. What's the process of kind of bringing the guys back up during the week? No, I'm, again, the road didn't go well. Um, the Penn FC game was the one we needed to win. Um, we coming off a good result against Charleston, and to be honest, I thought we played we played really well and should have got the three points in that game. So that was the one that would have made the uh, Cincinnati trip a lot more uh, bearable. You know, you're not necessarily expecting to go and get a result, you know, in front of 30,000 with the, the, the club at the top of the table with the talent they have. Um, so that was the big disappointment. The performance against Penn FC was exactly what we wanted and, and we didn't pick up the three points. So now that really puts us under, um, not pressure, but the same situation we were before the Charleston game. So two home games, clearly we have to win. Um, both of them to stand any chance of uh, dragging ourselves back into it. So um, you're going to see another do or die performance, I'm sure. Clearly, the, 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 when you look at the statue, it kind of jumps out. Is at home you're giving up just over a goal a game on the road. It's three a game. But what, what, what do you see things tactically that that, that are fixable there? Um, I think it gets very tricky for us if we do go go behind. Um, Sometimes we're a little exposed um, with pace in the back if we're stepping up high. Um, you know, and again, you've got quality teams you're playing against, so you can only only hide so much with, with, with the talent we have. Um, I would say that we have been, for the most part, pretty strong at home, uh, and certainly we'll need to to be at our best against Charlotte, and not the easiest team for us to face because of the um, the weapons they have. Mike, what do you take away from that first one and maybe apply this to design? Again, we played a different system in that match that in the end didn't quite work out. So um, I think we'll be back to the to the regular formation for that one. The real question is who's who's really playing at the intensity and desire and passion that's required for these type of environments now. So we need a little bit of experience Certainly, need a lot, a lot of intensity, but also with that, um, a calm head to be able to to connect our passes because we've we've struggled in that regard throughout the season. And against a team like Charlotte, you cannot afford to be in the the 60, 70 percent against possession ratios. It's going to be a very difficult night with the quality and the movement they have on the ball. What do you see from their recent form last couple of games? Again, it's all about us. We've got to make sure that we're not giving them time and space on the ball, and we have to be much um, cleaner in our, in our execution, the final third. Again, the disappointing thing with Cincinnati was that we had probably the first half, we had enough chances as good as theirs, if not better, to, to keep that a very interesting game. They scored an exceptional goal off the first one, poor defensive laps on the second one. But in, in, during that time, the first half especially, I thought we gave a good account of ourselves and you know caused them problems and had opportunities that really we have to convert if you're going to to hang out with the big boys you come off a, a tough trip like that does the announcement of the espanol match did that kind of maybe you know give guys a little extra step in training you think? Uh, the guys knew about that a few days prior um, it's always a fantastic opportunity as a professional especially in the in the lower leagues to play against the best clubs in the world, clearly Espanol or world-class opposition. In my opinion, the top team, the kickers, will have faced in their entire history. Um, and, they, and they play a very different style and attacking brand than we've seen from the Premier League teams who have come in before. So um, that one's more than a game. They're going to be here for pre-season. We'll have some open training sessions as well. So it's just a fantastic opportunity for our club and the city to host uh, a prestigious club from La Liga.